What goes up must come down, right? We all know this simple rule of gravity and how to break it with rockets. But for thousands of years of human history, we didn't really understand why. It was Galileo Galilei and Sir Isaac Newton whose experiments would really start to crack this mysterious force. Galileo experimented with the speed of falling objects, including the definitely real Leaning Tower of Pisa experiments. He learned all objects fall at the same rate, when air resistance is factored out. Newton later suggested every object with mass attracts every other object with mass. And for several hundred years this seemed right. After all, it explained a lot. An attraction between you and the Earth keeps you bound to the surface, and a similar force keeps the Moon in orbit. The Moon, in turn, pulls on the Earth. This pull actually bunches the water up on the Earth together, producing the tides on the oceans. In Newton's view, the Sun's gravity holds the entire solar system together, from the largest planets to the smallest asteroids. Inside the Sun, the combined gravity of the million trillion trillion kilograms of its mass heated the core to the point where hydrogen fuses with itself to form helium. This powers almost every star in the universe. When the Sun runs out of fuel in a few billion years' time, its core will collapse under its own gravity into a tiny white dwarf. But Newton's view of gravity wasn't perfect. A simple attraction force couldn't accurately predict the path of Mercury's orbit, nor explain the bending of light by massive objects known as gravitational lensing. Albert Einstein realized gravity was instead a bending of the fabric of space and time. This bending distorts space, causing objects to fall towards the source of this bend, looking like an attraction force. Einstein's theories are still our best explanation for what gravity is, but they predict a strange object, with high mass and almost zero size, a black hole, from which there is no escape. So at least somewhere in the universe, what goes down never comes back up.